Hey gamers, Mucklick here, and this is a showcase video for the Bullish HUD Overlay Item Search Module. What does it do? The Item Search Module does pretty much what it sounds like. It helps you search for items you have misplaced on your account. For example, if I type in Ecto, I can immediately see where all the ectoplasms on my account are, how many are in the bank, how many are in my material storage, and how many are on each of my characters. This is very useful anytime you are looking for something you have misplaced, you can type it into Item Search and immediately know exactly where it is. How how to set it up. To use this module, you will first need to set up Blish HUD. We have a guide for that that I will link in the description down below. This setup only has to be done one time and allows you quick access to the many modules within it. You will need to do the API permission step mentioned in that video. This module needs to be allowed to view your bags to report to you what is in them. After setting up Blish HUD, open Guild Wars 2 and Blish HUD at the same time. If you run Guild Wars 2 as an admin, you will need to run Blish HUD as an admin as well. Once it is visible on the bar at the top, Click the bullish icon. Click the gear on the left hand side if it isn't already selected. Select module repo which opens a list of modules available to you and then scroll down to item search or search item search in the box at the top and click install on the item search module. If it prompts you for a restart of Blish HUD at the bottom of the window, click that it should only take a few seconds. After install is completed which should only take a few seconds, click on manage modules below the repo. Scroll down to item search and click enable module. While in this window we can customize a few settings. Toggle search window allows you to set a hotkey to open and close the item search window if you wish to do so. Corner icon position allows you a few options of where the icon is located. Clicking this icon also opens the item search window. If you don't want the icon at all and only wish to use a hotkey, then you can disable the icon here as well. Default stack grouping changes how information is displayed. By location will show you stacks of items exactly as they are in the game. By location, merged, still shows you where the items are from, but just shows all items of the same type in one merged stack. Merged simply shows you how many of that item you have on your account. If you then hover your mouse over the stack, it will list their locations. Auto focus search box automatically puts the cursor into the search field when the search window is opened, allowing you to start typing immediately. I like having this one on. Hide account bound legendary equipment will hide legendary gear that is bound to you from your searches. So if you're searching for a legendary that you have crafted with the intent to sell it, it isn't mixed up with others that are bound to you in the search box. Hide equipped bags will show or hide bags that you have equipped from search results. API refresh interval determines how often the module updates its knowledge of what you have on each of your characters. Item icon cache determines how the module saves the pictures for your icons. Remember, this isn't plugged directly into the game. It is an uninvasive overlay, so it has to have these somewhere. I just left this as its default setting. Next up, open item search either by pressing the hotkey that you may have set up or by pressing the icon at the top if you left it there. Once open, now comes the easy part. Type in whatever you want to search for and it should report back where it is located. You can also press the heart button in the top left corner after doing a search to bookmark it so that you can easily do it again later for things you often search for. After favoriting something, you can right click the items icon to set that as the icon for the favorite if you wish. There are also some other options on the drop down menu when you right click the item, including adding the item item's name to your clipboard, copying its item code to your clipboard, or opening that item on one of many Guild Wars 2 related websites. There is also a gear in the top right corner of this window allowing you to narrow your search with filters similarly to the filters in the Guild Wars 2 trading post. And with that, you should be good to go. If you have any issues with adding or changing any settings and them not showing up right away, disable and re-enable the module. If you get stuck anywhere, or if this video did not answer your questions, please don't hesitate to join the Blish Hud Discord for any help with this topic, or check out the module page, both of which are linked down below. Happy searching!